Welcome to Newport Beach, California. Today we're touring this modern estate that features 105 feet of exquisite water frontage. Interior is beautifully designed where every single corner is curated to perfection. And wait till you see the details and the craftsmanship in this house. We got a lot to cover today, so let's begin. One of the things we try to do is go from small spaces into grand spaces. So as you come through the gate and you enter the home, hopefully you'll see the expanse of the view that just isn't available in homes in Newport. And it'll make you feel like, I want to go outside and experience California. We had a mission to combine textures all over the home, not just the walls, but also the ceilings. We wanted to create an experience where you could come into the home and be in elegance, but also put your feet up on the table. That's the way we like to live. And to share that with people is, is something we wanna do. I hope you enjoy our home. All right, everyone, welcome to Newport Beach. We're gonna start our tour on the exterior. Two-story modern estate, stucco finish, in total, we have three separate garages that can house up to six cars. And coming to the entry, we have these two palm trees framing this section beautifully. Landscaping looks really nice. And you can see these massive steel beams above us holding the roof structure for the entry. And these columns are all wrapped with handset river rocks. And we're gonna see this detail throughout the property as well. Now the walkway takes you to the gate. This gate is hand carved and it brings you to this amazing courtyard. Come on in, look at this space. It is landscaped so beautifully. It's lush and green, and this section brings so much natural light to the first and second floor of this property. In fact, this corner is all glass enclosed, and you can see the main staircase nicely floating. Now look above me. They have this cantilever section holding up these beautiful planters. And it's just a fun way to decorate and bring more landscaping to this courtyard. And then we have this beautiful glass front door opening up to the foyer of this property. Come on in. You have beautiful hardwood floors. Look at the front edge that we have with this house. You have the channel right in front of you, your dining area, family room, living room and this entire first floor is all open. You have sliding glass doors, great natural light coming in. What a welcoming experience to this home. Now, Cody, first, let's take everybody to the living room, which is on this side. Decoration here is fantastic. Custom pieces, chairs, couches, and then you have this long coffee table right in the center, and on the other side, to cozy up the space, we have this beautiful fireplace. Now the handset river rock that I mentioned on the exterior, they have it on this side, and then they have this chiseled edge stone installation to break up the pattern here with the banding right in the center. And this is also a detail that we're gonna see throughout the property. Above you can see these beautiful beams. And on the other side, they recessed in the TV really nicely with a suede wallpaper. Even the speakers are nicely incorporated to the wall. And the art installation on this side has its own custom lighting, which is a really nice touch. And more importantly, this entire first floor is all open. I mean, look at the dining area. You have the family room on the other side, all the way to the kitchen. And again, house has a fantastic flow and this entire first floor just opens up to the outdoors. Now, before we continue, let's cover the specs of this property. So we have four bedrooms, four full, two half baths, 8,868 square feet of interior space built on three and a half lots, which adds up to 9,450 square feet. This home has 105 feet of harbor frontage, which is stunning on the market for $47,500,000. And I wanna give big thanks to the owners and the listing agents, Sean Stanfield and Ryan Tarr for making this tour possible. 
As always, you'll find more information about this listing in the description of this video. Now, Cody, let's continue our tour. I wanna to bring everybody to this side. Before I talk about the staircase, let's follow this hallway for a second. The door at the end opens up to one of the two car garages. Door to my right opens up to the laundry room with its own bathroom. And over here, we have a small hallway and some built-in cabinetry. This is actually the homeowner's little gift wrapping section. What a quaint touch, huh? I have never seen anything like that, but it's actually so genius. And it faces the courtyard. Now, Cody, let's go backwards. Before we talk about the staircase, I wanna cover the powder bathroom, which is on this side. Same hardwood floors continue. And behind this door, we have the powder bathroom. First, we have this really unique mirror that looks like an art installation. Then you have this blue wallpaper and this vanity is so cool and contemporary. You have an LED lighting on top, drain on this side, and the vanity extends out as a countertop space. And we've actually seen this style of vanity at another property in Dubai. That house in Dubai also featured another really unique detail that we have also in this house. And that unique feature is this suspended carbon fiber tub. We posted a clip of this tub on Instagram and TikTok a few weeks ago. And that video now received over 100 million views, which is kind of insane. And uh, stay tuned for that. It's actually on the second floor. Now follow me this way. Bathroom extends out. We have the separate water closet here with an eggshell toilet. And yeah, this is your powder bathroom. Now let's go back to the foyer again so we can talk about this staircase, which is stunning. I love that these steps are all wide. Then we have this trim detail in between each step. And if you look closely, you'll realize that glass railing is actually bowed. And then we have the braided steel handrail detail. And we're gonna see this braided finish throughout the property a lot, incorporated in really unique ways. Mentioned the corner glass earlier, and I love the fact that they bolted it to the wall so it has a more of an open and contemporary feel. Now follow me this way, back to the foyer, river rock wraps to the interior, and now in the center, we have this dining room, which is such an amazing space. We have this minimalist glass table that's square, and I wanna point that out because a lot of times we're used to seeing more linear table setups, but in this case, everybody can see each other very easily. We have seating for eight, these chairs have so much detail to them, gorgeous chandelier above, and obviously this section fully opens up to the outdoors where you can just enjoy these views. The transition here is so seamless. Even your ceiling perfectly continues to the exterior, two chairs, and you live right by this channel. How cool is this? Now I want to take a second from our tour and give special thanks to BetterHelp for sponsoring this video. I know a lot of us struggle with our mental health from time to time, and it can have an effect on our daily life. We know starting therapy can be hard, especially if the right therapist may not be in your area or due to financial complications. But now there's a solution that could put these setbacks to rest. If you guys don't know what BetterHelp is, they're an online therapy service that strives to make therapy more accessible and affordable with sessions being held via phone calls, video chat, or even messaging. All you have to do to get started is to head to their website, fill out a questionnaire to help assess your specific needs, and you'll be matched with your therapist, most cases within 48 hours or less. And in case the therapist you match with doesn't quite fit your needs, which can be common when starting therapy, you can easily switch to a new therapist out of the 30,000 in their network free of charge. This way, you don't have to deal with the hassle of stressing about your insurance or who's in your network. I know personally, BetterHelp is amazing for someone like myself because the team and I are always traveling to bring you guys these videos. And it's hard to be consistent with appointments in person. Not only that, but over 4 million people have used BetterHelp to start living a healthier and happier life. If you want to see if BetterHelp can be the right fit for you, head to betterhelp.com ns to get 10% off your first month. I'll also link them in the description of this video if you want to learn more. Once again, big thanks to BetterHelp for sponsoring this video. And now, let's get back to our tour. Yeah. 
Now, before we leave, I want to get nerdy for a second and point out the track lighting that they have around the perimeter of this section, which is also a nice touch. Now, follow me this way. Before we talk about the family room, they even have this little moment to yourself to just sit down, read a book, have your coffee, enjoy the outdoors, and you have a nice light fixture here. Now, Cody, why don't you go to the other side so we can show everyone how this family room feels. Obviously, it's a very spacious section. You have your main couch, chairs, unique coffee table on this side, your TV, and this coffee table is actually really interesting. It's also seating stools. How nice is that? It's such a cool little design for the living room. It's like little rose petals. I think it's a very creative piece. It also brings a nice pop of color and uh, complements the living room really well. Now, I wanna cover two details. Number one, this bulkhead design that, that we have throughout this room. It hides all of the automatic shades and it also features mood lighting. So I'm sure at night, that section is gonna look beautiful. Second, I specifically kept the sliding glass door closed because I wanted everybody to see how you can just open them up and seamlessly walk to the outdoors. There you go, that easy. Your living space just opens up to this view, to this ambiance, and it's just great. You bring the outdoors straight to your living room. What do you think? I love it so much. The view is beautiful. View is beautiful. It's a fantastic day outside. And uh, now, Cody, let's bring everybody to the kitchen, which is on the other side. We have two French doors opening up to the pool deck. And on the other side, we have the spacious open kitchen. Walnut cabinetry throughout. We have a beautiful island right in the center. Same wavy pattern on the ceiling continues. And this island comes with a bar seating, this wood panel section here. But Cody, we need to get a close up. This Patagonia quartzite looks so beautiful. Look how they had to fabricate the sink since they use the same material for the sink as well. And we've seen this stone on other properties. The home in Park City, which is arguably one of my favorite homes ever, featured Patagonia quartzite. The home that we toured in Malibu also featured Patagonia quartzite. And it's the stunning stone that has such a unique uh, vein structure, crystallization. I mean, look at all the patterns and it complements this island beautifully. Now on the other side, we have the wolf gas cooked up, vent above, and the same chisel stone detail that we saw at the fireplace, they featured it nicely here as well. Now, the same cabinetry continues to this side with some uppers, and I wanted to talk about this Dutch door because it's such a clever detail. Opens up to the courtyard, so you have an easy access from your courtyard straight to the kitchen as well. Now, Cody, let's take everybody to the other side. We quickly brushed over this section, but this workbench that they brought here is such a nice, warm, rustic touch. In fact, if you look closely, the pattern on this workbench is so cool. They have some like repairs that added up to the character. You can set four people here, you're close to your kitchen, you can dine, enjoy your food, enjoy this view. And yeah, it's just a nice, clever touch. Now on the other side, we have the rest of the base cabinets. We're obviously facing the pool deck. You can just open up these casement doors and interact with the pool area as well. Your uh, sink is here. And Cody, can we get a close up? I wanna talk about this detail. So you can see this front section, it's also walnut. They've incorporated this section to the countertop. And guess what this material is, Cody? I mean, at first look, it looks like penny tiles, but... It's not stone, it's actually cork. Whoa. This is a cork mosaic tile. I didn't know that you can use cork in this kind of application, but it looks really cool, right? Yeah, so do you think it's treated to make it harder and more durable? Without a doubt, I'm sure it's treated, but it's different and you don't look at it and find it odd, you look at it and you admire it. It's just a nice detail and again, the cabinetry, the millwork in this house is quite impressive. I agree. All right, let's continue. We have the paneled fridge and freezer here. Look at these custom handles. And going to this side, we have a door that opens up to the pool deck and then we have a chef's kitchen. Yes, you heard me correctly. Your Sub-Zero wine fridge. We have some refrigerator drawers here. And Cody, let's show the other side. This is a good size chef's kitchen. You have your built-in Miele appliances. I believe these are 7,000 series. Again, complement the cabinetry really nicely. You have some speed ovens, espresso maker, regular oven. Look at the stone sink that we have here. 
It has a chiseled front and the sinks in this house are so unique. I mean, we saw the powder bathroom, added a really cool vanity and the rest of the sinks are just as impressive. And let us know in the comments below which sink you like the most throughout the tour. Now, the rest of the cabinetry continues to decide. Mila induction cooktop with under cabinet lighting, additional cabinetry on this side, window that faces the courtyard, and the door to my right opens up to the one of the three two-car garages that we have in this house. And that's pretty much it for your kitchen. First floor of this home is amazing. I love the textures and details, but wait till you see the outdoors. Feel to me is a dominating factor in design. So I wanted to create a, an experience that when you walked in, you first kind of walked through an area and then the whole world opened up to you on the bay. This was a 1970s house that kind of had that individual room architecture from back then, but the bones of the house were perfect. It was all just studs that created these small spaces. So we were able to eliminate all that. When you walk in now, you get this feeling of what I call open tranquility. When you walk in, you're just, you're just like, it just feels good. You know, the greatest joy that I get out of doing these projects is when somebody walks through our front door and it's always the same three letter word. Wow, this is unbelievable. And it's driven by the pride of sharing that moment with all the people who collaborated to pull this together. So Lori and I, we look at it as challenges where we can get a team together and everybody collaborates and when we're all done, we have a big party and we walk around and we say, we did that. That's what gets us excited to do the next project. One hundred five feet of water frontage the most important aspect of this amazing property. You walk out from your first floor and this is the view you get. It is truly incredible. Whether it's fantastic today, you have a bridge that takes you to your dock. This is incredible. I completely agree. It's so nice out. It's January and I'm in a t-shirt. Yes. And I mean, it's so nice and peaceful here. We have porcelain tile floors. Again, your sliding glass doors open up from the dining area. And Cody Listic, everybody this way for a second. We have this AstroTurf section. It's crazy to me that not only you live on this channel, you have this much outdoor space. Cody's from Newport Beach and you don't get a space like this in this area. Definitely not. Most of these lots on Lido Island are 30, 40 feet max, max. and you, your house goes straight up to the water's edge. So having just grass in general is like really important. Pretty much almost unheard of. And exactly. The fact that this property is on three and a half lots and how the owners here had the opportunity to join the house and make this big estate is incredible. They don't even permit that anymore. And that's why this property is such a rare offering because you can pretty much never recreate this. Now, continuing our tour, again, sliding glass doors, open up the entire first floor to the outdoors. Again, we have this unique porcelain tile. And now we arrive to the rest of the backyard and this section is awesome. We have an outdoor seating area with a massive fire pit. Your zero and infinity edge pool. And I say that specifically because the way this pool is incorporated to the patio is super sleek, hence the zero finish. And on the other side, we have the infinity edge where the pool pretty much blends to the sea. Now, I really, really dig the design of this pool, this dark plaster, your Baha'i shelf, towel with these water jets, bringing movement to this tranquil space. And I love these built-in planters, how they bring color to this area and the chiseled edge on these planters. Again, tying all these architectural details were so important to the owners. Now, while we're here, I wanna point out the guest house. It's a one bedroom with its own living room and it is properly detached. You can see the separation here. And it's just awesome that you have your own guest house to accommodate your guests, friends, family, and it is right over your pool cabana that we're going next. Again, 
same porcelain tile throughout. We have the French doors opening up from the family room to the outdoors. This casement window is right in front of the main sink in the kitchen. Of course, let's not forget the outdoor barbecue area. And now, before we talk about the pool lounge, I actually wanna bring everybody here. Cody, can we pan the camera to the other side? The way this pool feels, this section, Look at this view. Isn't this awesome? It's like the pool doesn't end. It flows seamlessly right into the bay. Couldn't agree more. That palm tree looks so beautiful. And you have an amazing private pool cabana on the other side. Now I see private because it is set back. Even though you're enjoying these views, people from the channel may not be able to see in here, which is really nice. Not only we have space heaters here, we also have heated floors so you can really utilize this space all year round. We have a TV that's recessed in, fireplace on the other side, and they have sand in this fireplace. And Cody brought this up earlier today, kind of giving you a bonfire feel. Exactly, it's really cool. It is super cool. Same tile that we saw by the pool is also here. This is just an amazing space. You even have a dining table here since we have the outdoor barbecue area. And this section is also really close to the kitchen. So you can have amazing meals here right next to your pool looking at the fireplace. Now, we're not done with this part of the home because behind this curtain, we have something really exciting. This is the two car garage that's below the detached guest home and we have this amazing Bentley here, ready to take off. Now, this is not a car review channel, but I have to talk about this car for a second because it is stunning. Cody, why don't you show everyone the interior of this car? Letter stitching, details, that dashboard, beautiful woodwork. It looks impeccable. And the specs of this car is also very impressive. Zero to 60, 3.5 seconds, 650 horsepower. And I feel like, this color combination with the carbon fiber looks absolutely beautiful. What do you think, Cody? I completely agree. I'm not usually one for orange cars, but I don't know. The Bentley just does it to me. Yeah, I mean, this is also the Speed Edition V12, and it looks gorgeous. Bentley, if you're watching this, and if you want us to review one of these cars, let us know. I'll be into it, and you guys let us know in the comments below if you want us to do some car reviews, but yeah, without getting too distracted. Beautiful Bentley, spacious two-car garage, but now we gotta check out the docks. Think about this space as the extension of your backyard, but now you get to float above the sea. Follow me this way. The way they constructed this dock is actually very impressive. Even the details on this side are so well thought out. Yeah, I have some planters, white steps, and obviously then we have this bridge taking us to the docks. Weather is fantastic. Cody, let's talk about our surroundings for a second. Let's do it. Now, right in front of us is the Balboa Peninsula. Behind that, is the Pacific Ocean. It actually runs all the way to the wedge, which is a world famous surf break. So you have this shielded section, you're in this massive channel, but you have the Pacific Ocean on the other side. You can feel the breeze. Exactly, it's not far at all. And if you're a surfer, you know the wedge. It's a beautiful area and the channel here is just so calm because you have that uh, peninsula to protect it. 100% and you have an amazing dock. Now I gotta point out this detail, the construction nerd in me wants to point out. We have these concrete pilings. Essentially these pilings are what's keeping this dock in place. But as you can tell, the dock itself is not attached to the pylon because as the tide goes up and down, you wanna make sure that your dock can accommodate that and that's how they basically work around it. Now we have a really nice seating area there, but before we go to that space, I wanna take everybody to the other side because this dock can accommodate a lot of boats. So we have this beautiful MTI, I wanna say speedboat here, looks incredible. I believe these ones range around 700,000 all the way to 1.2 million. And Cody, let's take everybody to the other side. We have another beautiful boat on the other side and obviously, when you have an outdoor space like this, you can store your paddle boards, jet boards, you name it, any kind of sea toy can be housed here. And we have this other beautiful boat. And another cool thing about these docks is the fact that you can reconfigure them. I believe on this one, you can store a boat up to 60 foot, 40 foot and 220 foot, or you can reconfigure it where you can have an 80 foot yacht here. 
And if you want to take it all off, you can actually store a hundred foot yacht since you have so much uh, frontage, which is incredible. Some of the details here, even the cleats are nicely flushed, all stainless steel. Attention to detail in this house is what I love. Now, Cody, let's get a close up because I also want everyone to see this detail. You have your electrical hookups, water connections here. That way you can just uh, charge your batteries, wash your boats, all that good stuff. And look at this seating area at the end. This is amazing. And being able to live this close to the water must be awesome. Newport Harbor is such a tight-knit community. Everybody knows everybody. And being here and watching your friends go by and saying hi to them is just so cool. It is a cool experience. And look, we've toured properties in Newport Beach and Newport Coast before. Crystal Cove is an amazing gated community. And when you're up on the hill, you get panoramic views, insane views. But there's something beautiful about being this close to the water where it takes you 10 seconds to enjoy the outdoors, being able to go to fishing or get on your jet ski so easily is what draws me. So if I got a chance to pick a home either by the water or up on the hill, I would choose the water. I, I love this. I completely agree. I am much more of a water person. I mean, this is so cool. And Cody, let's turn back to the other side one more time. Let's show the house to everyone. The entire house pretty much opens up to these views. Today we're in Newport Beach. In a few days, we're gonna go to Dubai. So we travel a lot to bring you guys these amazing episodes. And soon we wanna inform our viewers, our fans, on some of the projects and things that we're working on, things that we're involved in, some of our travels, that way we can do meetups. So if you're interested in that, I'm gonna leave a link in the description of this video. You can sign up and be in communication with us and we're just excited to meet all of you. Now, lastly, obviously our surrounding here is fantastic and we gotta get on the water. And the homeowners here were kind enough to lend us this amazing boat, but we actually had something a little bit different in mind. I think the thing that makes Lido Island unique is it's a community. To be able to walk to Lido Village and go to a restaurant and then walk home. So this is a very, very special place. To be able to get in your boat, go take your friends, put around the community in a duffy. Um, it's nothing more than untying your boat, going out, coming back, tying it back. And it was really as easy as just that. Ryan, the listing agent, was kind enough to get the team and I a Duffy to explore Newport Harbor for the day, and I truly didn't expect it to be this luxurious. Hey everybody, my name is Ryan Tarr. I work with uh, Sean Stanfield, my business partner. We're both the listing agents on the property, and we're gonna show you Newport Harbor today. So let me give you a quick rundown of Newport Beach. It's made up of several islands, starting with Lind Island, Bobo Island, Bay Island, and right in the middle is Lido Island. If you're gonna live anywhere in Newport, like Lido offers the most accessibility to the lifestyle that you're truly buying into. I've seen a lot of canal and channel homes in the past, in different parts of the world. But a lot of times, water and that house setting is all you get. In here, they really thought it through yeah. between having wide channels so you can have bigger boats, having restaurants, commercial spaces, right. so you have this cohesive lifestyle. Right. And I think that's what makes this development in Newport Beach particularly that much more impressive. Honestly, seeing it all from this stuffy is the way to admire it. So come like Friday, Saturday, Sunday, you'll see a hundred of these out and everybody's really? waving, partying, everybody's blasting music. It's pretty fun. And anybody could drive these. Even this is, this? Yeah, this Maybe. is like as fast as it goes, you can, know? Can I mean, just for, for a minute? Potentially. <laughs> okay, okay. Just yeah, drive you, safe. Don't, don't pull up that, pull up that liability policy. Yeah, oh, you're not kidding. It's just, that's it. I mean, people are living out here. Look at this. It's pretty awesome. Honestly, this reminds me of my childhood, like windsurfing every day. But these kids do it at their backyard. They live in these homes and they go out and sail here. This is fantastic. Bro, like, I'm so Casey Neistat right now. <laughs> uh, Cody's shooting over there. Vibes are good. Life's good. Breeze is coming in. I'm loving this. Newport, thank you for this cool experience. 
To be able to live on Lido Island and have all this at your fingertips to enjoy and share with your friends is a spectacular thing. And Mike sums it up best. Your time is spent enjoying your time with your friends, not doing all the work to enjoy your friends. That's what I think makes this such a special area. All right, everyone, let's go check out the second floor. White steps, bowed glass railing, braided steel handrail, and that corner glass looks so beautiful. I love that it's thin frame. The wallpaper here actually matches the hand-carved gate, and the staircase brings you to the landing of the second floor. Now, the first space we're gonna tour is the office, which is behind this pocket steel glass door and the office comes with its own seating area, two comfortable chairs, ottomans, TV on the other side. And of course, this office opens up to the second floor balcony and look at the views you get on this level. It's fantastic. Now, of course, the most important aspect of this office is the desk area, built-in cabinetry. We have this beautiful live edge desk here. And can you imagine working like this? Look at this steel case picture window. You have your computers here. I'm just gonna take a seat. This is how you get to work every single day looking at this view. What do you think, Cody? I'm pretty sure if I worked out of this desk, my productivity would increase by 10X. Couldn't agree more. This is incredible. And then you have all these built-ins. Even the shelves are so nicely organized. And if that wasn't enough, they have a really cool section here where you can seal it up with this pocket door. And this is a space for your memorabilia. We have some built-in cabinetry here, skylight above bringing natural light. Again, suede wallpaper, so the room feels very cozy. And yeah, this is your office. But now I wanna take actually everybody back to that balcony because we gotta get this outdoor experience, your seating area. Look at these speakers, by the way. And of course, sliding glass doors open up. Really cool light fixture here and then you walk out straight to your balcony where we have the sea views. And living like this, where you're so close to the water and you can access the outdoors so easily is just incredible to me. I couldn't agree more, especially being right on this channel. Like you're not right on the ocean. You're not on the boulevard. It's calm. You, yeah, the only traffic that you get is the locals coming through to get their boats and paddle boarders. I mean, this is just so beautiful. And like, let's say you have a writer's blog, you're not feeling creative. Just walk outside, sit on this chair, enjoy the views. So many times offices in homes are put in the front of the house. The office and the gym should always be in a space that you wanna to go to. I wanna be motivated to go to the gym. I wanna be motivated to go to the office. When I'm, you know, I'm designing a lot of different things, I don't want to look up and look at a wall. I want to look up and look at beauty. And I want to look at the sunset. I want to look at the sunrise. I want to look at things that inspire me. That's why we put the offices where we do. All right, that's it for the office. Now I want to bring everybody back to the second floor landing. Now we have a beautiful art piece here. It brings a lot of warmth to the landing and behind this art piece or behind this specific wall, they've already framed the house for a future elevator, which is really nice, which means down the road, if you wanna add an elevator to this house, you can easily do that. Now, going this way, we have the first door opening up to the first guest suite that we have on this level, it comes with its own bathroom. But I wanna continue our tour with the second guest suite, which is a little bit bigger, faces the front of the home. We have carpet floors, desk area to my left, TV on this side, massive king size bed, but room has a lot of warmth. I love that it has vaulted ceilings. Look at that light fixture. That is so cool and a lot of warm textures in this room between the wallpaper, flooring, beddings here. And going to the other side, we have the walk-in closet. And of course, we have a full bathroom on this side. Let's take a moment to appreciate this vanity between the curved panels on each side. Circular section right in the center. And I love that they work the cabinetry around the drain line. That's why the center section is open, beautiful veneer, then you have a massive sink on top with two faucets, 
LED lit mirror and let me go to the other side where we have the walk-in shower. They went minimalist with the tile choice here. They use the same tile pretty much throughout the entire walk-in shower. You have a skylight above, chrome fixtures, nice open and spacious walk-in shower. Just a beautiful bath. I love how they made the tile look like wood panels as well, even yes. though it is tile. Well, not only that, it kind of matches the rest of the house as well. Think about it, you have beautiful wood elements throughout. Even these floors, even though they look like hardwood floors, these are actually porcelain. And throughout the house, we saw all these different wood textures that they incorporated in the kitchen, living rooms on the first floor. And now we are arriving to the primary bedroom entry. They have a nice cozy seating area here with a gas fireplace. Same river rock is also used here. Again, TV is nicely recessed in. Cody, let's pan up to the ceiling. They brought beautiful wood panels to like really warm up the space to give it a little bit of a rustic feel. You have a massive window, faces your courtyard, brings light. And Cody, can you actually face to this side? I can't go there, but I want to at least point out. Instead of putting a railing here because that's your staircase opening, they designed a really nice bookshelf. But if you look at the columns of the bookshelf, you'll realize it has the same braided uh, steel railing. So it's really sturdy, it's locked in there, but it is designed like a furniture, which is an elegant touch. Now, on the other side, I'm covering all the details with this house. You have this beautiful moment and nice recessed in section for an art piece. You have skylight above bringing natural light, same suede wallpapers, and right in front of us, we have another moment. So I really appreciate the fact that the homeowners looked at every single corner, every single area to maximize the experience to get out of this house. I applaud to that. Now follow me this way. To our right, we have the primary bathroom, but first, let's take everybody to the primary bedroom, which is spacious warm, elegant, and even more importantly, you get to float above the sea. Look at this experience you get as you walk into this room. Does it get much better? I cannot imagine waking up to this view. Like the, I love the angled wall of the windows too, so you get more exposure out to the south. Exactly, it maximizes the frontage that the bedroom gets. And even more importantly, this is what you get to wake up to. I also love that these steel cased sliding glass doors or windows are true floor to ceiling. You have your automatic drapes, shades, details, and of course, your king size bed. Cody, let's get a close up for a second. This bed frame is actually really, really cool. If you look closely, you'll realize the headboard is also incorporated and including the bedside table. So it's this very cohesive design all the way to the bedside lights. So you get this uniform, warm look, but then with the beddings, they really warmed it up, wallpaper on the back. It's not the biggest bedroom, but it's definitely a great, great size. The center section is open. This cabinet here is so beautiful, the details on it. And Cody, let's turn to this side. I know I pointed this detail out on the first floor as well, just like the living room fireplace. They have the chiseled edge stone with a wood banding in the center, river rock, I just love that all these clever, interesting, unique details are cohesively featured throughout the entire house. Not to mention, again, you have a balcony where you can enjoy these views. We're gonna go out to that balcony in a second. Cody, I'm assuming that's it for the bedroom. We covered everything? I mean, there's a lot to cover. I think we did a pretty good job. I think so too, but wait till you see the primary bathroom. All right, let's go to the other side. Of course, you can close off this hallway. There's a pocket door here. And going to the other side, we enter to the spacious primary bathroom. The details in this space, your vanities, suspended tub. We got a lot to cover, but first I want everybody to see the volume of this room. You have vaulted ceilings, skylights bringing natural light, it's light and airy in here. And the first space I wanna cover is actually this vanity area. We have beautiful chiseled countertops as well as this lower section. Then you have the wood paneling in the center, cabinetry on this side, and we mentioned the sinks earlier. This house has so many unique sinks throughout, and we have this card one right here with the faucet, unique mirror, and on the other side, we have the water closet. Even the water closet gets a fantastic view and a casement window, so it's a nice, relaxing area. Now, I wanna bring everybody to the other side. Before we talk about the vanity on the other side of this wall, I wanna talk about this suspended carbon fiber tub. 
this thing is a piece of art. The way it's engineered, how they mold and built a strong carbon fiber tub like this. It's actually fluiding because they have a floor drain and river rocks are actually covering that drain. The same braided steel that we've been seeing throughout, they used it to create a bracket on the ceiling and then they braided the connections to the tub. In fact, Cody, let's take everyone to the other side because I want everybody to get a close up on these braided steel connections. Do you know how hard it is to bend this steel to get this aesthetic, yet alone find someone to custom fabricate you a tub filler out of the same braided steel? And then you have your water controls on this side. Have you ever seen a freestanding tub like this before, Cody? I have not, and I never thought that I would see a freestanding tub made out of carbon fiber suspended from the ceiling yes. in Newport Beach. This is crazy. And we've actually, believe it or not, Cody, seen a tub like this before in Dubai about a year and a half ago at one of Alpaga Properties developments. And at that house, they actually did a wall mount installation, meaning they used the brackets and they've attached to the walls on each side. And then I also gotta acknowledge this massive picture window here with a beautiful steel grit installation on top and paying attention to your layout is so important. That little courtyard that we saw off of the entry serves so many different areas. Think about it. I pointed it out at the staircase, at the seating area. Now here, they positioned this courtyard in such clever way that it brings natural light. It gives Zen feel to many spaces. And in this case, with the tub installation, it looks beautiful. Chef's kiss. Cody, let me go to the other side because I wanna show everyone the second vanity, which has the same design aesthetic, but the sink here actually has a little bit of a different tone. Again, you have the unique mirror, water closet to my left, nice open spacious, and your bathroom continues to this side where we have a makeup area, another beautiful dresser, and now let's check out the walk-in shower, which is also very impressive. You can see this blue emerald marble that they use in the shower. It's so beautiful. It's it, like we're walking into another world right now. Literally, it's so rich. The density of this stone and its textures, it almost looks like it's backlit. And then they have this really unique lighting installation throughout. And you have your shelves here, your shower head, and they have the coolest casement window ever right here, connecting you to that outdoor courtyard. So you get some ventilation. It's almost like an outdoor experience. And to tie it all, look at the ceiling. They have a skylight, a triangular skylight. This is a cool showering experience. That's, that's all I got. I think this is, this is such a tasteful, creative, and a fun space. Totally, it's like showering in the stars. It's, it's super cool and we're not done with the bathroom. Now let's check out the first walk-in closet. This is her side and owners here were kind enough to let us even go into their closets and it is decorated so beautifully. She has beautiful Louis Vuitton cases, uh, handbags, and it's also very spacious. Keep in mind, this side of Newport Beach, you don't get a whole lot of square footage. So the fact that you have a walk-in closet this spacious with this much cabinetry space is pretty impressive and they maximize it really well while making it light and airy. I mean, you can see the cabinetry from floor all the way to the ceiling. And this is the first walk-in closet. Cody, let's take everybody all the way to the other side because we have the second walk-in closet and now walk-in closet comes with a really unique space. And this is your bathroom. Once again, volume is fantastic. Now, you can seal off this closet with this pocket door if you want. You walk in the same mosaic cork floors that we saw at the kitchen countertop. They have it also here, and the cabinetry here is a little bit more darker, but it's very sleek. You have your drawers, floor to ceiling wardrobes, nice seating area in the center, and then you see the curtain installation here for some separation because we have a gym here. This is super cool. A lot of times, I feel like we see the gyms on the lower levels, in the basement levels, but in here, it arguably occupies one of the best spaces in the house, huh? I was just about to say that, like you could not have a better view while working out. And I feel like if I have a gym like this, I would work out all the time. Oh, 100%. Why wouldn't you? Like your treadmill, your bikes are here, you have a TV on the other side, your speakers, and it takes two seconds to walk outside. There you go. This 
looks unreal. And the fact that you wake up every single morning, by the way, we have the primary bedroom to my right, and walk out to a space like this, it's fantastic. I completely agree. And the lifestyle of living in Newport Harbor is kind of unmatched. You're an hour away from LA, you're minutes away from the shops and the restaurants at Fashion Island, and living on Lido Island specifically, it's just a bunch of people on this little island. And like the seclusion and privacy is just so unique and you can't really find that anywhere else. I couldn't agree more. I feel like Newport Beach and Newport Harbor specifically offers something so unique, your access to the water. If you love boating, this is your haven. And weather is great. Like you said, your location is fantastic. And all of these qualities coming together with this house really makes this listing and this area truly one of a kind. My wife and I both started with nothing, and we have worked really hard. It's been as a result of creative thinking, risk-taking, and finding the right people to execute at the highest level. And as you go through our home, I think it really is a testimony to that, a testimony of getting a great team together to take our dream and turn it into a reality. And Living in Newport, living on Lido, is a dream filled. To me, a sunset represents part of the architecture of the evening of a home. How does the light reflect off the house? What does it look like looking out? How do the shadows cast across the furniture, the textures within the house? And that's why it was so important for us to have a house that, that had sunsets. In California, in September in particular, as well as this time of year, the sunsets are amazing. The clouds are amazing. So it's a different painting every day. And that's part of the beauty of it. That's why we, cho we chose this. All right, everyone, that's it for the tour. Hope you'll enjoy this episode and spending time with us here in Newport Beach. Now, I really like this house, the way it's designed, how every single space is so beautifully curated, its architecture, and the fact that you get 105 feet of frontage and you live this close to the sea makes this offering that much more unique. Now I want to give big thanks to the owners and the listing agents, Sean Stanfield and Ryan Tarr, for making this tour possible. And as always, you can find more information about this exquisite listing in the description of this video. Now lastly, if you enjoyed our tour, give us a like, subscribe, and we'll see you guys on the next one.